Uh, hi guys, um, so um, it's that time of year when there's loads of new shoes um, passing through the shop at the moment. Uh, a lot of the companies want us to uh, take on new products and take on new brands. Uh, so it's quite an exciting time for us. So we've got here uh, three new shoes that have been testing recently, or I've been testing recently, and um, I thought I'd just tell you about them really. So first of all, uh, new brand, um, and it's uh, Outra. Uh, a new brand for us. We've looked at it for a few years and 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 just watched it evolve as a company. And it's very different. It's uh, it's the older shoes perhaps were a little bit mm, funky looking uh, and not particularly in a great way. But they've given them a makeover. The uh, the tech is is kind of moved on since a little bit as well. And um, I'm pleased to say that we're going to be stocking these in the next couple of months. Um, um, because I like them, I really do. So just first of all, just show you that quite close up and you can see how you've got that really sort of weird shape. And that's all to do with the fact that they believe that um, because our feet aren't shaped as a point, uh, why should shoes be shaped to a point? And it makes sense. Our feet are to a certain point that shape, so why not make our shoes that shape? And uh, I think for not for 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 everyone it, it it doesn't really work, but for those that perhaps have got wider feet, maybe a little bit flat in the feet as well, so they need a bit more room to spread. It works a treat, and I'm going to put myself in that category. Uh, I like a little bit more room around the toe box. I like the shape how it's um, it's pushed a little bit more towards the big toe, um, and it feels really comfy to me. Um, the other big characteristic about um, uh, about this brand is that they are uh, a zero heel to toe drop. Well, for now they are zero heel to toe. Uh, they have got a new product coming. And what that means is, is that um, there isn't really any height difference between the rear of the shoe and the front of the shoe. It encourages you to run a little bit more onto your forefoot, uh, certainly onto your midfoot. And, um, and again, something that, that for me helps me a little bit um, helps me stop being so quite so flat-footed uh, and encourages me to get up onto my toes a touch more and, and it and it feels good um, so you know look out for more of these um, they're coming into our store soon and you'll probably get a chance to to come and attend a demo as well uh, and we'll certainly be talking about them more as we go on um, so that's outro next on we have uh, a bit of a racy shoe so uh, Hocker uh, have a tendency now to put uh, plates and carbon in everything and they've put um, they've had the Tecton X in their range for a few years now and this is the second version of it so Tecton X2 uh, and it's a, a trail shoe so we can see that on the bottom a little bit of grip nothing too crazy so it's not really deep lugged uh, and it is designed as a fast paced trail shoe um, and I've used it for those kind of runs. So I, I really like it. It's cushioned, um, not speed goat kind of cushion, but it's certainly not as you would expect from an out and out racer. Uh, it's got enough grip for fairly, how can I put it, hard pack surfaces, um, gravel surfaces, that kind of thing, dry off-road, single track kind of thing. We've got a lot on Canet Chase where it's single track, it's, uh, it's sand and gravel base that kind of thing and it's perfect in dry conditions I'm not sure it's going to be up to much in really muddy conditions but in uh, in the dry conditions it's absolutely perfect uh, it's got enough cushioning for the longer races um, and I've done up to maybe 12 13 mile in them and uh, it's fast I've got to say so park run fast kind of thing I've used it for a couple of off-road park runs and it feels quick. It's a very positive feeling there. It makes you want to run fast in it. Um, and, and it's a really nice shoe. And although it's a race shoe, it's not particularly narrow fitted. Uh, there's got a good amount of room in that toe box there. Um, and it feels quite wide in places, uh, quite accommodating as perhaps I should call it. Um, and, it and it's a really good shoe. I, I really like it. Um, and I'm trying because it's carbon and I don't want to go into that feel of running in carbon shoes all the while because I, I believe it's not good for you. So I'm trying not to use it too much, but it is kind of shoe that I do look at and think I'm going for a trail run. Oh, actually, I, I quite like to put that on. So that's the, the Hocker Tecton X. Uh, it's a good looking shoe as well, I've got to say. 
um, and uh, that is in store now, available now. Great. Next on the list, a, a brand that we have dabbled with in the past, Merrells. Um, didn't quite work for us that well. Maybe they didn't have the shoes that we really wanted uh, and they've um, we, we, we kind of gave them a bit of a miss for a couple of seasons, but they've come back with some really great, great shoes now. In particular, three in the range, uh, and I've been testing the more everyday shoe, which is the Agility Peak 5. Um, and it's just come out, or it's just about to come out. It's a shoe that uh, we're gonna stock. Um, I, I like it that much, we're gonna give it a go. And it's, uh, it's a big lug shoe, so you can see that on the bottom about four and a half, five mil on the lugs. Uh, so it's quite extreme for what we would have around here. It is certainly one for those that want to run proper off-road trails and not just fire roads and the like. Although uh, I've got to say, it felt okay on the fire roads, um, but normally you'd expect them to move a little bit, the lugs and not be too comfortable, but this felt good, um, really good. Uh, it's not quite, I compare everything in softness to a speed goat. It's not quite that level, but it's not far off. Uh, it is it is cushioned, it does feel soft. It's got a nice uh, sort of hugging um, heel cup on there that doesn't feel too grippy, but it actually feels really comfortable. Um, the upper feels really nice um, and secure. It's quite um, supportive. Uh, and I was, I, was, I was positively pleased with how it felt. Uh, I've got to say, it, it surprised me. Um, I've done only three runs in it so far, um, but it felt great on the hills. It felt great coming down the hills, as you'd expect with that, um, with those lugs and the, the supportiveness of it. Um, it felt fine on the fire roads, as I, and I expected to squirm a little bit with the, the lugs. Um, and, and really, really pleased with it. Um, it's not their top end shoe, although it's not, uh, it's not super cheap, um, but it's definitely a contender um, for the Ciccone uh, Peregrine and definitely a contender against the Speed Goat now. So um, look out for these in store pretty soon. 